Hey guys and gals, this is Sinagero with a video on the Amaryllis Action video recording software and its compatibility with Adobe Premiere Pro. Specifically, the compatibility issue that it has with the MP4 format and importing that into the Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. So here's an example. We have Adobe Premiere Pro and we have a video recorded by Amaryllis Action in MP4 format. I will talk about the AVI format uh, later on. Now you see there's an import failure when you just try to straight import the mp4 file. The file has no audio or video streams and you are left with either the solution to convert the mp4 to another format and then import it into Adobe Premiere Pro but that takes time, it lowers the quality, it's not fun. So my solution. You take this and you make a copy of it because it uh, shouldn't be well it should be backed up you don't want to screw anything up so I'll take a copy of it and if you are noticing very carefully I already have some uh, semi converted files so what you really need to do is rename it but you don't really need to you know you can rename uh, the title whatever you want but what you want is to rename it to an m4v file and uh, say yes to that and suddenly you can import it into Adobe Premiere Pro. Not only that, but if you do normally import these things with live commentary into the um, <coughs> one of the video editing softwares, some of them will only get you one audio track. And here you can see there's two audio tracks, one from the microphone and one from the in-game sound, as well as the video. And there's no lag this time, and it's uh, at the same quality you would expect from uh, an MP4 file that you've just recorded. It doesn't change uh, any of the bit rates or anything like that. It all works just fine. For Sony Vegas Pro, you just drag and drop. It's all good. It works uh, straight off the bat. You don't have to rename anything. But this is a very easy solution that I have found. Uh, I should also mention that I have installed the K-Lite Full Codec Pack in case there is some issue with that and Adobe Premiere Pro is um, getting some of the codecs from there. I'm not sure how it does the importing and the codec compatibility stuff, uh, but that is the codec pack, uh, codec pack I have. And switching the MP4 to an M4V makes it work. I don't know why. I've tried converting it and then the quality is kind of not good. This is the easiest way, the fastest way that I have found to do these things and you also get both audio tracks uh, without having to extract them with Audacity or some other audio editing program. And you just go from there. So thanks for watching, please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.